the obstacles facing homeless people. Well, once you're homeless, it's hard to dig out of that hole. Housing costs, you know, food. And how, if you're rough looking and dirty, are you gonna walk into a place and get a job? Um, I think of somebody who is struggling, um, down in their luck, struggling, trying to put one foot in front of the other and they've just hit every obstacle possible. I mean, the obstacles that facing most homeless people is either A, they're, they have substance issues, B, they have mental issues, C, all the above. And, and that tends to be an obstacle for them to seek any meaningful, corrective solutions. I think the main thing would probably be affordable um, living, like affordable apartments, affordable housing was probably the biggest. Yeah, or I also think too, just trying to get back in and trying to get re-employed because to get re-employed, you need a bank account. To get a bank account, you need a house address. It's just, it, it, and it's just like they're so underprepared and it's just kind of the cyclical thing of how, how do you get re-employed when you're homeless. Um, rent is just unbelievable. My own kids struggle with this every day. And uh, if you don't have a support system around you, if you don't have a place to stay, you can be homeless in a heartbeat. If you don't already have a job and you're looking for a job, it's harder to get a job. If you don't already have housing and you're looking for housing, it's harder to get housing. And that is just a, a stereotype that's passed down in these different fields. Seems like the biggest obstacle facing a homeless individual is where to get started to get back on track to a regular housing situation. Everybody has a different story, but it ultimately it's something of despair. Something happened in their life that, that brought them to that point. Nobody chose to be that way. I really, truly don't believe that anybody chooses that. I was 68 when I got evicted. I was in the homeless shelter when I was 69. I would have never thought with all the crap that I did when I was younger, would I ever be in some place like this. My perception before I ever went into a shelter was that a, a homeless shelter was full of drunks, was full of druggies was full of scum of the earth, and it's just not that way. It's not that way at all. There's people that just really, truly, because of circumstances beyond their control, just down and out. I didn't, I guess I, I didn't really think much about it, but I did have those judgments as well. And then you find yourself in it, and you're like, well, wait a minute, you know, I'm not, I don't take methamphetamine or anything like that. This is not what happened to me, even though you've heard all that. It's sad because we don't know how someone get there, someone get there by not, you know, spending their money, wives or gambling or different things like that. But some people just fall on bad times and they become that way, you know? And it's hard for them to adjust so you have people in different situations. Man, I have drug problems. Might be homeless or whatever. My name is Monty, and the thing that I'm most thankful for is a place like the First Step Shelter to help get me back on my feet. I'm, I'm thankful just for the motivation and the support they give us uh, through the counselors, how they help us um, to gain stability and learn to do things that's important and on our own. And how they feed us and clothe us, you know, give us a roof over our head. I'm very thankful for that. And I'm grateful and thankful for the staff here and, the, and all the members and the clients that have become a family to me. And I love every single one of them like my own. And I'm very grateful to be here to get a really good paying job to help me where I need to be. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, God. I thank you for allowing me to come here uh, to get things done. Uh, thank you for the opportunities to, to get my life back on track and for everything that you have done. I am thankful for getting out of here on Monday. I got my new apartment. 
One thing I'm thankful for is the ability to be rescued. Because it's um, as I was on my way here, I I just felt this total desolation. You know, the mind can be so curious to go and have fun. You think because the holidays people will be more festive, but to be missy and then be alone is um, it's, it's travesty. So I'm really thankful because when I'm here, I feel rescued. I feel that like I get that chance if it's not out there. I look at it as a blessing. I look at it as truly a blessing from God. God humbled me, okay? And then he strengthened me and made me and he gave me compassion. I'm so grateful. And there's a young woman here, B. She makes us laugh. She, she's so kind and, and good and Pam, I mean, and the nurse, there's a nurse Kim. You will never meet a sweeter, kinder woman in your life than Kim and Angie and security. I mean, there's just, they're all around us. I believe the individuals who come to First Step are the ones that are ready to turn it around. Um, if they hear anything about you know, through the grapevine on the streets is that, you know, First Step is a housing program and it requires you to take accountability for yourself. Usually if they hear that and they're interested in turning it around, they'll show up here. I believe the solution to homelessness is people willing to give them a chance, donations, helping them get off the street, giving them education on how not to be homeless or end up in the same situation again. I think that especially what First Step Shelter is doing is such a step in the right direction, and especially the way that they're reaching out to the community and trying to get them more involved and change the face of homelessness here is uh, so important. And the mayor that has just been standing by you guys and giving you all the support that he can, I think it's so important for a city to see that. Uh, every day, every single day, I am motivated to come here. There, there's just, it's such a rewarding feeling when I pull up into the parking lot. Um, and I know that I might be able to make a difference, maybe not in everybody's life, but maybe in someone's life. Um, and it gives, me a, it gives me joy to be here. I just like for the community to have more empathy. You know, when you see somebody out on the street, say, hey, ask them if they heard about First Step Shelter, refer them over. Thank you so much. Um, you'll never know what you've done. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs>